Okay, um, so the fifth thing that I want to share or a piece of advice for starting a clothing company is uh, don't hire your friends. This is not a breakdance crew, okay? And I'm, and I'm serious. And, uh, oh man, so many companies that I've met with and, and that's the situation. Now, you know, I can see you now saying, oh, you know, my my best friend in college who majored in communications is going to be my marketing director and he knows so many people and the, the you know marketing chair of his frat um a lot of people have started a company with close friends and made it depends on how it starts for you but i, I will say definitely when you start to hire into really important positions and uh, your company starts becoming really successful and I'm talking about pushing units I'm talking about obviously having a budget to hire someone in for uh, design and for sales and for marketing and placement and all of those sort of things for really key positions don't just hire your friends I mean uh, I'm sure a lot of people have this vision that it's you you know you're gonna make it to the top and it's gonna be so fun but um, I mean a workplace is a workplace and you will get into disputes and arguments there's politics that happen in every office so you just want to ask yourself you want to put a friendship that you have in danger I have way more examples of wonderful friendships that have been broken over time uh, the stories are just flooding into my head as I'm as I'm speaking really terrible situations where where really good friends have ventured out to do you know great things in fashion and in the end ended up with a company that didn't work and you know a broken relationship that had started in high school or middle school on the other side of that there's professionals i mean the starting lineup you know your whole varsity team needs to be ringers they need to be bangers they need to be really good at what they they do so um it would make sense for you to hire people that have experience or have proven results to be in those slots. Um, it'll get you there 10 times faster uh, and with less energy and just a lot more efficiency and effectiveness. Another thing I want to say about this subject is the people you start a business with in terms of partnership. This goes for any, any business. Um, the people who you start with, I view it like a marriage. My analogy is it's like getting married uh, because um, you're gonna now be joined with that person with a legal contract uh, for the ups and downs of whatever, ha whatever happens with that brand or this this business endeavor and so um, just speaking from experience um, you know you don't want to throw around partnership lightly you know make sure the people you you partner with are bringing something to the table that you couldn't possibly do and that they're good at it. Um, number two, make sure they're just someone you could ride with. Clothing is one of the most volatile industries out there, period. Uh, anything, any kind of cool industry um, has a high amount of politics and I'm not, I'm not even including the politics that happen, that might happen in your office. Um, so keep those in mind. If it's someone, make sure it's someone you can ride with to the end.